Good evening, my name is Boni Tunya and I have the business. Now, one last bit of sad news in September is that the inflation figures are out and they've gone up 2.9 points. That means the inflation figure for September is now 8.29, further away from the government preferred uh, limit of 5% and we'll be analyzing that in the course of this week. But to other matters, days after the United States of America issued a travel advisory on Kenya to its citizens, several American investors are in town pitching for business. The investors, drawn from a number of US-based companies are seeking a piece of Kenya's pie that is increasingly growing. And Michael Karanja has that full report. The franchising business model is not one that many Kenyan entrepreneurs will readily identify with. It has been slow to take hold in Kenya as local investors know little or nothing about its potential rewards. In the United States of America, franchising is a success story. It's no wonder then that a group of American businesses are in town scouting for potential partners to expand their business in Kenya. I think it's high GDP growth, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's a rapidly developing economy, which is of interest to us. We have uh, seven uh, very, very qualified, interested groups that we're very excited to, to speak about. Companies such as CKE Restaurants, that has several burger chains, the global franchise group with cookies and ice cream businesses, Johnny Rockets Burgers, and Heart Equipment Rental are all set to open stores in the next 24 months. Under a franchise agreement, a franchisee pays for the right to use a franchise as trademark and the franchisor will help expand the business in return. With a bulging middle class and more global brand appreciation, Kenya provides an ideal investment opportunity to expand the brands of the 10 businesses on hand. Anybody can sell chicken, but we have 17 great flavors. And Kenya loves to eat with great flavors. You know, you guys have great food. And we kind of think of that as an isolated event. Um, and then, you know, the way the government's responding uh, has been incredible. Following the recent terror attack, it's also reassuring to the country when the businesses remain upbeat about the country's growth trajectory. The sign of American investors coming to set up in Kenya is perhaps moral boosting to an economy that has taken a number of shocks in the recent past. But it also presents an opportunity for Kenyan businesses to take the franchising routes to grow their business. Michael Karanja, KTN Business Today.